I'm Lori Ellison from Hudson Valley Bookkeeping and in this video I'm going to show you how to post a return of a security deposit to a tenant. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's talk about returning a security deposit when someone moves out. So here we have three units that have a security deposit. So let's do first one, a simple one. They left the unit in great condition, no problem. We're gonna do a simple refund. So you could do it from your bank account, right? We're gonna post it. Let's say you, I went on these, in the case of a refund, I like a cash check. I'm all about easy things like Zelle and so forth, but I have actually seen in certain cases, people swear they didn't get their refund money. Um, and I love to be able to show a cash check with their Han John Hancock on it. Okay, so let's say we write a check. I will be the te tenant. Okay, so we type in the tenant name. This would already be probably in here. Unit one. Okay, unit one, we have $3,000. So we're gonna write payment of 3,000. I type in security deposit, unit one, click save. All right, go back to your balance sheet, click refresh, because if you have multiple tabs open, it won't know. You have to refresh it for it to pull that new data in. And now look, we have nothing for unit one. Now I only have unit one and unit two for classes. But so like, let's say unit two, we're gonna give back 2,500 we're gonna keep. So I'm not gonna post, I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, our other tenant. We'll see partial return of security deposit keeping five hundred dollars. So we get back two thousand. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then how we get rid of the rest. Again, click refresh. So you just copy and paste like these into just quick tip. If you just control V, it'll bring you another tab. So this one will be the same one, but you can keep going through. Okay, so now look, we have $500 because we're gonna keep $500 and then we're gonna pay a repair person to fix it. So I know you're gonna argue with me with this, but this is the way you have to do it is that 500 first has to be allocated to rent income because it's a conversion to income. And you're like, but it's not income because I have to pay someone, right? And when you pay someone, that income will be wiped out because really it's the tenant paying for the repair, right? So you have to capture the 500 as income. So how do you do that? Well, what I do, I would do a journal entry, but for people who are novices, and you're probably a novice if you're watching my video, is you need to go to the security deposit and we'll make an easy, we'll make a journal entry, but it'll be easier for you to follow. So here you go, here's your register. So here we have, and this is where you have the history of this unit. You had the money come in, now the money goes out, and now you gotta get the 500 to clear it out to zero. So you're gonna say add journal entry. Now think about this, it has a $500 balance and we need to bring it to zero. So the only option to bring it to zero would be to decrease. Using 500 of security deposit. Okay, this is unit two. 
watch what's going to happen. 500 and you're going to pick the rental income for this property. Unit two. Okay, so that's on 211. Let's go back here. We'll go to reports. I want you to see how that That was unit two. Okay, so here's our 500. Doesn't really show. I like classic view, guys. Kill me. So look, here's your 500 that was the converted. Now, I didn't do a good enough job on my memo that I see it in my report. Because I only put it, it's because of the journal. Because we're doing it in the register. Okay, so you have 500 here, right? Now, go back to your balance sheet. These two are effectively zeroed out. So you just do this over and over. Money comes in, you post it to the unit, whoever you're holding for. It's in the liability account. You should keep a separate bank account just for these. Then you will, the biggest thing is people don't keep these up and they they keep money and they don't convert it to rent and then their balance sheet is off and their liabilities are wrong. So you just wanna make sure you're always keeping this up. The other big thing I see people do is they post people's security deposit to rental income. And then if you accidentally did that and then overpaid on taxes because you posted something that wasn't income to income, then you should refund to the rental income later. So you just make sure you always post the right account. When you get a liability, you post it to liability on your balance sheet. When you pay it back, then you also post here. So you see right here, we have money coming in and then it goes back out, okay? And then it's nice and simple. And then when someone says that they didn't get their refund or their return of security, you could go on your bank, fold the check, show their signature on the back of the check and you're all set. All right, please be sure to post any um, video requests or questions in the comment section. And don't forget, I specialize in QuickBooks lessons for real estate investors. All right, have a great day.